Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to a good Sunday morning. Praise God. This is the day the Lord has made, and of course, we are rejoicing and glad in it. Praise God. You know, many of you probably getting ready for church on the way to church, and some of you are just at home. This is your church, so we want to welcome you this morning yes. to a great broadcast of, of some things God got specifically scheduled just for you today. Praise God. Get ready to learn some things that maybe your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard. Some things that maybe entered into your heart where God got prepared for you. But get ready, get ready, get ready because God got your number this morning. Praise God. He's heard your prayer. He's heard your cry. Praise God. And he has sent a word just specifically for you in your situation to bring you up and out of the situation. But not only up and out of it, but into a land that flows and milk and honey. So praise God for victory today. Thank God for you. Dr. Bill, give him a great big welcome at this yes, time. Good morning, everyone. This early Sunday morning. Amen. <laughs> we praise and, and thank we are praising and thanking God that you're yes. with us this morning. Uh you just like Apostle said, you might be on your way to church, you might be up cooking breakfast. No matter what it is, it's still the Lord's day. And we're glad to be with you early this morning. And yes, we have changed our time, but God is still good. Praise God. So to me, today's message is going to be how to make your faith create outward manifestations. So stay tuned for a great word of God today. Amen. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. What I'm doing now, taking a moment to share this with all of our friends and praise God, all of you that are part of our ministry, you that are partners with us, praise God. We're just taking a moment just to take a moment just to share this because you know what? God's got, God's got some things in store for you today. And, uh, and we want to make sure that everything that God has in store for you today, praise God, that you don't miss out on just not one thing today, praise God. So, you know, that's why I'm taking a moment just to, t to share this. And you can do the same thing. You can share it with your friends because let me tell you something. Jesus Christ said, go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. And you may not be here on Facebook doing the preaching, but you can be an evangelist, praise God. Mm -hmm. You know, someone that helps share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So take a moment to do that, praise God, and share this. If you're on, if you're on, if you're on Facebook, like it, share it. If you're on YouTube, uh, praise God, I think it said you just subscribe and hit the bell, praise God, and let's continue this gospel of Jesus Christ out to Amen. the world, praise God, in Jesus' name. So, again, we thank God for each of you. Montoya, God bless your daughter. <laughs> Amen. We got, you know, we got, we got a little early this morning, but that, you know what, thank God for you and your faithfulness, praise God, and the great things God's got Amen. in his life, praise God. So, let's get ready. Now, I'm going to share something with you today, but it's going to be very important because sometimes, you know, as Christians, we kind of sit back saying, you know, we're just waiting on God to do some things. And sometimes God says, no, I'm waiting on you. you go, because God has put within our hands some things that I think that we have not recognized mm -hmm. the authority God has put in our hands. Mm -hmm. You know, one scripture said the kingdom of God suffers violent, but the yeah. violent take it by take force. It. So there's some things you just can't just sit back and let the devil, you know, just continue and say, well, just keep on waiting on God. Just keep on waiting on God. And there, there is a principle of waiting on the Lord. That is true. But then sometimes because of our lack of understanding our authority, sometimes it's not us, wait, God waiting on us. It's God, it's us waiting on, I mean, not us waiting on God, but it's God waiting on us That's to right. take the legal authority that we have in the name of Jesus. So we're going to use for a title today, Making Your Faith Create Outward Manifestations. Outward. And, and, in other words, God has given us something to do that with. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus told the blind man, he said, according to your faith, be it unto you. In other words, it's not according to what I believe. It's not according to what I can do. He said, it's according to your faith, be it unto you. In other words, you can make your faith make manifestations outwardly. So, so the blind man said, okay, praise, that's it. <laughs> I'm pulling this old blind robe off, and I'm going to see today. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Even the one with the issue of blood. <laughs> she, had been, she had been in the same condition for 12 long years. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says she heard of Jesus. And, 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 and the Bible said when she heard of Jesus, she began to say within herself, right. when I touch his garment, I will be made whole. She made her faith. Produce outward yes, manifestations. Yes, in other words, she didn't sit back and say, well, I'm just waiting on the Lord. Maybe it's not God's timing today, but, you know, for me to get there. She said, no, no, no. She said, right now, uh, you know, my faith is going to produce these, these outward manifestations today. Right. And the Bible said the moment she touched Jesus, mm -hmm. she was made every whole. So, right. so she made her faith produce outward manifestations. Yes, Same thing about David. You know, a Goliath up there, praise God, you know, taunting uh, the children of Israel, taunting Saul and them, give me a man, give me a man to fight with me. Mm -hmm. David said this, he said, today, not tomorrow, but today, 
I'm going to have your head. Yeah. So how could David do that? He made his faith produce outward manifestations. So, so, so when you think about this word that I'm giving you today, it's not really far-fetched, mm -hmm. you know, from what the word of God tells us. Mm -hmm. But sometimes as Christians, we've not taught, but we say, well, let's just, just keep praying, just keep praying. Mm -hmm. and, and prayer is important, but the Bible says the prayer of faith will save the sick. That's right. And the Lord will raise them up. So we can, we can move out of some of the things that the devil has had us in mm -hmm. and say, you know what, let's move into this thing that God has got us doing today, okay. praise God. So let's think this for a moment. How then do we make these outward manifestations? How do we make our faith, <laughs> man, produce these outward manifestations? Number one, Dr. Bell. You must know the creative power of your faith. Oh, that's the thing. You must know the creative power of your faith. Mm -hmm. You must know that your faith has creative power, okay? Yeah. Now, uh, your faith then, listen now, your faith then is the substance mm -hmm. that creates outward manifestations of everything you've been believing God for. Yeah. You've been believing God for it, but your faith can create the outward manifestation of that thing. Yeah. Are you following? And so, and we didn't, we didn't, we're not really recognized as the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So your faith, you know, can create the outward manifestation of that. Notice that Hebrews chapter number 11 and verse 1 says. Now faith is the substance of things hoped mm -hmm. for, the evidence of things not seen. So it tells me my faith is that substance that I need. Substance. Yeah. To create that outward manifestation of what I'm hoping for. I'm going to say it again. My faith is that substance that I need mm -hmm. to create that outward manifestation. Yeah, that's good. So I have the substance have right now in my life mm -hmm. to create the outward manifestation. That's what Jesus told the blind man. Mm -hmm. According to your faith. Mm -hmm. He's telling me, he said, your blind man, your faith yeah. is the substance that, that can create the outward manifestation of what you believe in God for. Right. One with this, your blood. Her faith was the substance that created the outward manifestation yeah. of what she was believing for. And Jesus said, woman, your faith made you whole. Your faith was that substance you needed to create the outward manifestation of your life. And she said that when I touch him, uh, in other words, she wrote her own ticket with God. Yeah, she, she set the day and the time for it. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Can you see that? So that's what God is saying today, that we can set the day and the time. Once we understand this message called faith, mm -hmm. and we understand that faith is that substance mm -hmm. that creates the outward manifestation, we can say, you know what? What I'm still waiting on. That's right. God has already given me something called faith. Mm -hmm. And that faith is the substance that I need to create the outer manifestation of this yeah. thing. Yeah. So you and I have yes, the creative ability of God mm -hmm. within us mm -hmm. to manifest outward things in our lives. Yes. Amen. Well, I see Beverly Wells with us, Dr. Bell. Good morning. God bless you, God. Beverly, praise <laughs> God. Amen. So, so, so you and I have the creative ability. Yes, Within us, you have that credibility in uh -huh. you to manifest things in the physical realm. God put that ability in each one of us. He is the creator, and he said, let there be light, and there was light. And recognize he has put that same ability in you. That's right. He created you and me in his own image and in his own likeness in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So notice Hebrews chapter number uh, 11, verse 3, how God does it. Mm -hmm. he, Dr. Bell. We, excuse me. <laughs> Through faith, we understand mm -hmm. that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Yes. So that things which are seen are, were not made of things which do appear. Can you see that? Through faith. Mm -hmm. That substance called faith. Okay. God used that same st substance mm -hmm. to create the world. Mm -hmm. And he says, through faith, we understand the worlds were framed. Mm -hmm. God used that substance and framed the whole world yes. with that substance. Yes. And it says it was framed by the, his words. Wow. He framed it by his words. Yeah. So faith will take whatever you speak out of your mouth and use that to create your outward manifestation. That's good. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. He says, so therefore the things that are seen yes. in the manifestation or the physical realm mm -hmm. were not made by things that appear. It was made by a substance called faith. Okay. And when you put words, your faith framed and created whatever you needed to make happen come to pass. Amen. One with this, your blood did it. Mm -hmm. David did it. Mm -hmm. The blind man did it. You and I can do the same yes. thing in Jesus' name. Yes. So things then yes. that you do not see in your life right now. Okay. I'm going to say it again. Things that you do not see in your life right now by the anointed substance called faith yes. within you, you and I can make those things come forth. That seemed like a whole other level, Saints, that we've not been operated on, but we see it operating in the Bible. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And Jesus kept telling him, your faith made you whole. That's right. Your not, faith made you whole. not only that, hmm? Jesus was our example. Yes. He didn't just send us out there, you know, not knowing anything. He showed us how it was supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. He spoke the world into existence and it came full. So therefore, he said that same faith is on the inside of us. And all we have to do is learn how to speak what we want and the things of God. And guess what? You'll be so surprised on how what your faith can do and what your faith can produce. And I don't know what you, Dr. Bill, because I was studying this. I'm, I'm learning more and more. There's something I've got to stop sitting back and waiting. I mean, you know, yes. we, we just got to begin to start using <laughs> yeah, the substance that God has given us, right the right. materiality that God's already given us, and, and use our words to create the hour manifestation of those things mm -hmm. because all your faith is waiting on is words. That's right. And then you, yes. uh, we were talking to someone last night in Apocalypse. He, he explained it so beautiful between time and timing. Could yes. you share with that with them? So in other words, sometimes we get time and timing mixed up. Yes. Timing is God's realm yes. that God lives in. Mm -hmm. God lives in a, in, in a present tense continuous ad infinitum realm. Yes. He never changes. Right. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. We live in a realm called time, uh -huh. which means we say one day, two days, five days, six days, are you following me? Yes. And that realm, we're always looking at time. When is God going to do it? Right. Today or tomorrow? But when you step out of, out of that time realm into the timing realm of God, that, that is alpha and omega, beginning and end, then you can set the time yes. Because you understand God's timing. Mm. Are you following me? That the woman issue of blood said, today. today. This is the, 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 you know, the, the faith brings you to the timing of God. Today, when I touch his garment, I will be made whole. So she didn't get into time. She went into the timing of God. Mm. That faith is present tense. Not going to be. It is the sum of the things you hope for. It is the evidence of things you do not see. Are you following me? So, that, so you got to step out of the time ramp into the timing of God, which things that you believe in God for already exist. Your faith is yes. the sum of things you're hoping for. <laughs> Your faith is the evidence of things you do not That's see. Amen? Amen? So everything that you do not see right now uh -huh. in your life, you can make those things come forth in Jesus' name. Because your mouth, according to God's word, and my mouth holds creative ability. Yes, it does. Woman of Israel blood, she did it. Yes, she did. She said, I, she said the moment I touch his garment, mm -hmm. I'll be made whole. Yeah. Her words had creative ability. Mm -hmm. David's words had creative ability. Mm -hmm. He said, this day, right. I'm going to have your head. That's right. Not tomorrow. Right. I'm in the timing of God. Timing. That's Are you following me? So I ain't got to wait on four days and five days. I'm in the timing of God. And what, what I say is what will come to pass in Jesus' name. So, so that's the realm God is wanting to get us into, sense of God, because a lot of things that they've been holding back because we've been in, in time instead of the timing of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the, and the Bible said, many times Bible said, immediately that's right. they received their sight. Immediately, she felt in her body, she was made whole. See, so in other words, there's some immediately this happened. Jesus kept saying, it was your faith that did that. It was your faith that did that. She said immediately she found her body. She was made a whole. Uh -huh. Immediately Goliath fell. So that's what we're saying, sense of God, that, that God is saying, let's move into this realm where you can make your faith produce yeah. outward manifestations Beautiful. in Jesus' name. So, all right, your faith then uh -huh. will convert things from what you can't see to what you can see. Mm. Mm. That's good. Your faith will convert things mm -hmm. from, what you, from what you can't see to what you can see. It'll make it things that does not appear to appear. Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. From this, your blood had been suffering that thing for 12 long years. Nothing better rather grew worse. But the moment she said, she took her words and used her faith to create another reality. Mm. And the Bible said immediately yeah. she felt on her body. I'm saying today, sense of God, I'm expecting some immediately to happen right. as we move into this area of, of faith, understand that we can use our faith, we can make right. our faith make manifestations in the natural realm. Amen. She did it, we can do it, yes. you can do it in Jesus' Amen. name. Yes. So, so prophecy then. Dr. Bev, read that prophecy, Dr. Bev. Everything you ever believed for, mm -hmm. everything you ever dreamed of having, mm -hmm. everything you ever sold for, everything ever you prayed about 
on the, on the verge of manifesting in your life today. You got that? Right there is on the edge. Your faith going to make you whole. Yes. yes. Everything you believe yes. God yes. for. Everything you've been dreaming of having, oh, Dr. Bell. Right. Everything you have ever sold for. And everything you ever prayed for is right now on the verge, on the verge. of manifesting in your life Hallelujah. today. Amen. That's what the woman of the issue of blood did, Dr. Bell. Yes, she she did. said, my faith will make me whole today. today. David said today. Mm -hmm. Now, the moment the blind man, uh, Jesus told him, your faith can make you whole, mm -hmm. Bible says, as immediately he received his sight. Yes. So we can declare that sense of God. Yes. Let's begin to move into God's today. Praise God. Let's move into God's now. Amen. Let's move into God's present tense realm. The moment you step out of that, and faith is our connection to that realm, saints. Yes. Faith, faith is our connection to that realm. Amen. It draws things out of the physical, out of the spiritual realm into the physical realm. Mm. It makes it converts things yes, it from the spiritual realm into the physical realm in Jesus' name. Amen. So point number two, Dr. Bell. Don't become fearful when you begin to move begin moving in realms that the natural man cannot explain. You got that? Whoop. Sometimes, well, Dr. Craig, you gotta watch out. Because, you know, we don't going to get too far out of there. <laughs> so you got to get to the point, sense of God, that if God said it, it's okay. Amen. That's right. God is the one that said, I create you in my image mm -hmm. and in my likeness. God is the one that said, I give you dominion over the whole earth. That's right. So don't, and then God is the one that said, be fruitful, mm -hmm. multiply, replenish the earth, yes. subdue it, and have dominion. So, so we're not outside of the realm of, of which God created us to walk in. Mm -hmm. It's just as the church, yeah. we've not walked in that realm because we've been thinking that's pride and that's going, be, you know, going outside of the things of God. Mm -hmm. When God says, no, I created you like that. Amen. I created you to, in my image and in my likeness. I created you with the ability to have dominion yes. and subdue things. Amen. And so it's time for you as the body of Christ mm -hmm. to begin to walk in that level of dominion because that's, that's right. how I've created you. It's time for you to make manifestations for you to make your faith uh, make manifestations in your That's life. Good. Praise Amen. God. And this is what yes. we as believers, believers in the body yes. of Christ, this is what we must do. We must come out, we must uh, uh, move away from the shallow waters and launch ourselves into yeah. the deep. Because there's nobody's going to nobody's gonna push you into the deep. I mean, you have to make your way yeah. prosperous. And you have to go into the deep. Amen. Because those were, those were all the riches are. They are deep in the things of God. So come out of that shallowness. Amen. Yes. And just do what God has called you to do as believers. That's right. Step <laughs> out of that physical realm yes. being governed by what you see, right. by how you feel, yes. into the realm of saying, I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I feel. Right. I'm only moved by what the Word of God says. And the Word of, if the Word of God says it, I believe it. I believe that settles it in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Point number three, Dr. Bell. Know how powerful you are. Know, know that all the promises of God are yes and amen. That's the thing right there. That's in order for you to make your faith make these manifestations, you got to know how powerful you really are. That's true. Jesus is the one that said that. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in, in Mark chapter number 11, verse 23, for verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. if you shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, yes. and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, mm -hmm. but shall believe that those things which you say shall come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you say. That's what right. he's saying is you need to know how powerful you really are. Yes. Do you really know how powerful mm -hmm. you are? As a child of God. Yes. See, sometimes we've lost, I'm a Christian. Well, you know, Christians are right, but Jesus never called us Christians. That was the world called us Christians. Jesus called us his sons and daughters. Wow. He called us children of God. Yes. You know, he said that, 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 that to those that believe and to receive him, to them give you the power to become the sons of God. Oh my God. The sons of God. Yes. And you are a child of Almighty God. You are an heir of God, and you are a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So you got to know how powerful you really are, mm -hmm. how God created you in Jesus' name. Right. In other words, God placed in you and I uh, 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 the, the same authority he gave to Adam and Eve That's before right. they sinned. You got that? Mm -hmm. He placed you and I with authority to yes. rule over things yes. and not have things rule over yes. us in yes. Jesus name so that, that spiritual substance then called faith mm. is that right mm -hmm. uh, which comes uh, uh, it, it, it said the spiritual substance for which comes all visible mm -hmm. the spiritual substance called faith yes. 
uh, which comes all visible wealth is never depleted. So don't think that you're being greedy. If I'm, you know what? You can't deplete God. <laughs> Amen. You can't ask God for too much. Right. If God has put it in your heart, it's because he wants you to have it in yes. Jesus' name. Yes, and it's not going to cause God to think you're greed. You only greed or covetous when you want something that belongs to somebody else. But it belongs to you. Amen. God said that, that you're an heir of God and you're joined with Jesus Christ. So stop thinking that you're going to be greedy when, you, you know, when it belongs to you in, in, in any way in yes. Jesus' name. Right. So, so, but everything that's, that's here though it'll respond to your faith wow. and your demand upon it wow. in other words the things that God has for you in his storehouse in his pantry of heaven you know uh, would only respond to your faith and the demand you put upon it if you don't put a demand on it it's not going to respond to you the that's kingdom right. of God so it's violent but the violent take it by force mm -hmm. so, so we got to begin to move into this area so you know what praise God that that, that that these things that I'm dealing with right now, you know, healing will respond yes. to my faith. Yes, it will. Prosperity will respond to my faith. It will. But I got to put a demand on it. Mm -hmm. And I got to put a demand on it by speaking in line with what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. by thinking in line with what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. and by acting in line with what the Word of God says, whether I'm presently experiencing it or not. And that becomes a fight of faith, saints. Yes, it does. Especially when, you're, when your checking account is not testifying to that. <laughs> your, test, your, your, your checking account is testifying totally opposite of what you're talking about. But God is saying, if thou can believe, yes. all things are possible to them that believe. So this is the thing here then. Mm -hmm. uh, in Hebrews chapter number 11, verse number 6 says, what, Dr. Bell? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Mm -hmm. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Mm -hmm. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. See, so God says, okay, now it looks like things are dried up. He's a nice thing dried up. It's just, I got to get your faith in this area. That's good. In, other words, in other words, you've already used your faith for the last thing you believe God for. Right. Now for this next level, you got you to gotta, you gotta get your faith growing for this next level that God has for your life. Mm -hmm. See, so you just can't go on a past miracle. Wow. No. That you just came out of, mm -mm. and that you just experienced. Now you got to you got to get your faith built up because mm -hmm. I've seen people that got faith in one area but not faith in another area. Mm -hmm. See, so you got to continue to grow in your faith. Your faith is never dormant. It's you know you either pulling faith out or putting faith in. I, I, when Jesus told uh, Peter mm -hmm. to walk on the to come and walk on the water, True. that was enough faith for Peter to walk on that water. But then a different kind of faith came in mm -hmm. called fear. Mm. And the moment he used that, the opposite of faith called fear, he began to sink. Wow. See, so, you, so your faith can be at a greater or lesser degree of manifestation at any given time. Mm -hmm. One minute he's walking on the water. He's focused totally on the word of God. The next minute, a different kind of faith called fear comes in. He begins to sink. So now he has to get back and say, Jesus, help me. He got, got back in faith again, and he walked on the water again. Right. So sometimes, says of God, we got to do the same thing. For every level, you got to learn how to walk at another level of faith. Mm -hmm. So now, all right, this, we're just coming out of 2021. So my wife and I, we, we thank God for his faithfulness, and we've seen a lot of great manifestations this past year, but 2022 is coming now. Right. So now we've got to get our faith ready for what God's got for 2022. Yes. We can't use the faith we used last year. No. The Bible said that our, our faith should grow exceedingly. Yeah. So now, we, we're, we're, that's why I'm teaching on faith right now. Because I'm working on this thing now to get our faith for what God's got that our eyes have not seen. That our ears have not heard. Yeah. That I've not heard in our heart that God can say, okay, uh, Doc, uh, Apostle Craig and Dr. Bev, this is a assignment I got for you this year. Yeah. Are uh, you following me? Yes. I, I, I want you to help people get their great, their, their big comeback. Yes. I, I want you to help them to expand their expectations now. Right. And I need you to begin to work on some things to get my people. So now we're going to have faith together for that. Amen. Why? Because your faith needs to continue to grow exceedingly for the next word God got for your life. That's good. That he wants to manifest. Yes. But without faith, without it's impossible to please him. That's good. For he that cometh to God mm -hmm. must believe that he is in your situation and that in your situation he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him yeah. not them but him 
You got you to gotta focus on him because that's where the word of God is at in Jesus' name. Got that? So, so it, you, it comes by faith. It don't come by repeating, well, you know, I already know the Bible. I already know the word of God. I already know the yeah. scriptures. Dr. Craig said, no, no, no. It don't come by repetition. It comes by revelation. Yeah. See, so God has not came and gave us a new Bible in the last 2,000 years. But that Bible is so pregnant with revelation that you, you don't go on what you knew. Go on the revelation you still need to know. Amen. For what God's got for your life. Amen? Amen. So, so you must have faith then mm -hmm. to back up and expect God to break in a new horizon mm -hmm. in your life that'll cause things to happen. Amen. You got that? Right. Everything, once you move into faith, mm -hmm. once you begin to, to get your faith together yes. to make your faith produce manifestations, things from that moment will be headed in your direction. <laughs> Can I say that to you right now? Yes. That things hey. for 2022 right now are headed in your direction. Hey. Glory hey. to God. With your name on it. That's it. You got to just hold on to your faith. Mm -hmm. Don't let your faith go. Don't, 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 don't get into negative thinking or negative talking or negative acting. Because th the things you've been wanting are on the way in Jesus' hey. name. Amen. Maybe some hindrances, maybe some setbacks, mm -hmm. but you hold to your faith. The Bible says... But without wavering, because yes. God is faithful, who has promised in Jesus' name. Amen. Point number four, Dr. Bell. Release your faith and receive your prosperity. All right. Release your faith. Yes. Release your faith mm -hmm. right now for 2022. Release your faith. Dr. Dr. Bell, give them that declaration right now. Every day in every way, I am growing, prosperous, successful, victorious. I am made for, for peace. Health and plenty. Mm -hmm. I am experiencing them in ever increasing degrees in my life. You, you gotta make that make yes. that declaration on your That's life. Right. Every day. Every day. From this day yes. forward, every yes. day and in every way, I'm growing prosperous. Make that confession right now. Say the women say, say every day. Every day. And in every way. In every way. I'm growing. I'm growing. Prosperous. Prosperous. Successful. Prosperous, successful. And victorious. And victorious. I am made for peace. I am made for peace. Health. Health. And plenty. And plenty. I'm experiencing, I'm experiencing them in every increasing degrees them in, every increasing in, my life, in my life right now, right now. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Can you see that? God never yes. runs out. No, he doesn't. God is the God of lavish abundance. Let's, yes. let's let 2022 now Amen. be experiencing the God of lavish abundance. Yes. You know, oh, Dr. Craig, I don't want that. No, no, no. Quit saying that. Quit saying that. <laughs> you are a child of a king. Yes. God is a God of lavish abundance, lavish. Wow. which never, you, you and I can never deplete. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Are you following that today? Mm -hmm. so, so there's a lot of financial miracles waiting on you this year. Yes, it is. Mm. Yes, it is. I declare over my, my, my son, Dr. Bell's life, Amen. that there's a lot of financial miracles waiting on us this year. Yes, I'm looking at the same thing on you right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of financial miracles waiting on you right now. Yes, All you got to do is listen to what the Spirit of God is saying. That's good. And everything you've ever believed for, yes. everything you've ever dreamed of having, mm -hmm. everything you sold for, yes. everything you've ever prayed for, mm -hmm. I declare is on the verge of manifesting in your life today. today. Praise God. That's what woman of your blood said. She said that everything I've been praying for is on the verge yes. of manifesting in my life today. I and she said it will happen the moment I touch Jesus. Amen. Mm. I receive that. Glory to God. You got that? In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So point number five, Dr. Bell. Imagine you are rich. Mm -hmm. Imagine you are out of debt. Mm -hmm. Imagine the promises of God had spoken in your life when you were reading the Bible. The Bible are fulfilled. That's right. Go there in your imaginations. Yeah. I remember like Apostle Ivy Hill, I would say, he says, it visits your future in the canvas of your imaginations. Mm -hmm. So you got right now, imagine you're rich. <laughs> imagine that you are abundantly yeah, supplied. Baby. Imagine that everything you've been believing God for is done in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Imagine out of debt, Hallelujah. those bills paid off in Jesus' Thank name you, this year. Thank you. And remember, the Bible says that Isaac sowed a seed. The Lord blessed that seed. 
and give him a hundredfold that same year. That's, your, that's a prophecy for you and I this year in Jesus' name. That's Amen. Right. Look, look about imagination. Imagination is so important. Go down your imagination. Yes, yes. That's what the Bible says, casting down imaginations yes, casting and down. bringing them thoughts into captivity mm -hmm. that are against the, the laws and the, and the word of God. You've got to learn how to deal with them because your imagination is a creative force. Yeah. That whatever you can imagine, God yeah. said you can do it in you Jesus' it. name. <laughs> See, notice Genesis chapter number 11. And verse number six. And the Lord said, mm -hmm. Behold, the people is one, mm -hmm. and they have all one language, mm -hmm. and this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained mm -hmm. from them which they have imagined doing. See that? God said, Anything that you can anything. imagine <laughs> will not be held back if you go down your imagination. Yeah. So that means you need to take a picture yeah. and, and visualize mm -hmm. this year mm -hmm. what you decree. It's already done. Take it into your now. Yes. Take it into your present tense. Mm -hmm. Take it into God's timing realm and declare it. This is who I am. This is what I have. Amen. And this is what I will accomplish this year in That's Jesus' good. name. That's good. Amen. <laughs> because faith, listen now, faith is the stuff. Okay. Are you following of things you've been hoping for? And faith is the image of things you do not see. Wow. Are you following me? So, so an image then, mm -hmm. depi uh, 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 image depicts that our imagination, listen now, mm -hmm. image depicts that our imagination mm -hmm. is powerful if you use it properly. Wow. Amen. Okay. Amen. Your ma imagination is more powerful than your will. Now, this is what I put on here, that your imagination mm -hmm. is focused, if, if your imagination is focused on something, okay. nothing can stop it but God, <laughs> and God won't <laughs> stop it. Because yes, he wants he you to prosper. Yes, he does. God wants you to be healthy. God wants your family to be together. Yes. God wants you to have a successful marriage. God wants all these things. So you, all you got to do now is imagine it as so. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Imagine it as so. Yes. And then make your faith produce the manifestation of it. Right. Because when you imagine it and you begin to see it as the reality in your life, mm -hmm. that's faith. Yes, it is. And you hold on to that. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. And you make your faith produce the manifestation of that thing by holding on to it with your words, mm -hmm. your thoughts, and your actions until it manifests That's and right. your faith converted yes. from the spiritual realm into the physical realm in yes. Jesus' name. Yes. Point number six, Dr. Bell. Forget all the ideas that people have, put, have about God mm -hmm. and set your imagination on your dreams and what you desire. In other words, the more ideas that people have, yes. well, you know, we don't want to get greedy. I'm not out. I don't want all those things. You know, that is not what the God said. Can you imagine a real prince or a princess saying that, and their father is the king? Can you imagine them saying, "You know what? No, I, you know, I'm going out here to to goodwill. And I'm about to no, no. You, you're a princess. You're a king. You're a child of a king. No, they're going to go into the king's closet. They're going to find. They're going to get things that 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 belongs to them as a result of being a child of a king. And so. All the ideas that people have given us. Mm. Are you following me? Uh, uh, you you got to set your imagination on, 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 on things that you desire, right. you desire. on your dreams, right. not on the thing that people have said. When I first got saved, people told me that because I had a brand new car and I was wanting some things in life, that that was being carnal. Mm. And I did not know that it was just being an heir. <laughs> you follow me? Right. It was being an heir of God that had joined him with Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, not, and listening to folks, <laughs> I got rid of my car, the house, and I was living broke and poor <laughs> until I discovered the word of God. Come on. Are you following me? Right. And I, then I, but I forgot about their ideas then. Hey. I forgot about their religion. That's you right. follow me? And I set my imagination on my dreams yes. and things I desire. Hey. And guess what? My faith has produced those things. Yes. Hey. And your faith will produce the same thing in your Amen. life. Dr. Bell put her faith on some things, yeah. and her faith has produced some things. That's she true. made her faith produce the manifestation That's of the right. things she dreamed of and the things she desired, and we ain't through yet. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. I saw myself made in the image and the likeness of God. When you see yourself a certain way, yeah. you'll start becoming that. Yeah. But you have to learn how to quit listening to folks. Because yeah. folks will have you up one day and down the next. So just you, if the word of God says, guess what? The, if, if the word of God says is you believe it, that settles it. Don't worry about what anybody say about you. Just go ahead and be what God has called you to be. And they don't have the nerve to say when things go bad for you, God must be whooping you. And, and they don't want to create that, that negative in your life. 
Are you following? No, you you forget about them, forget about the idea, forget about re religion, and you you get a hold of God and God's dream for your life. That He says that I know the thoughts I have for you, and there are thoughts to prosper you and to give you a good life. And you want to you will get a hold of God's thoughts in your life, and then you make your faith. That's create right. the manifestation of that in your life because your faith will do it in Jesus' yes, name. Point number, point number four, Dr. Bell. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 the scripture, oh. Psalms 37, verse 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, mm. and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. That's, that's what God said. Delight yourself mm. in him. Just delight. And he will give you yes. the desires of your wow. heart. And, you know, and so there's a, there's a double reference of that scripture. Mm -hmm. one, one thing, it, it, one reference says, if you delight yourself in the Lord, mm -hmm. he'll give you the desires of the man, whatever your heart's desires are. Okay. Another scripture says, another translation of that says, when you delight yourself in God, mm -hmm. he'll put his desires in your heart. Yes. Are you following? And he will give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. He'll put those desires in line with his word, mm -hmm. in line with his purpose. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? You know, uh, in those areas. And so sometimes when you, you know, when you believe in God for things, and all of a sudden God puts up in your heart, mm -hmm. are you following mm -hmm. Is it going to be exceeding, abundantly, right. and above what you were asked or thought according to power working in you? And God going to always go over and above. Because he's going to put, he, we, see, so sometimes we, we, we put the desire kind of low. Yes. Well, God, I'm, I'll settle for this. God said, no, no, no. He said, I'm going to put my desire in your heart. Mm -hmm. Are you following? You know, you know, uh, my stuff and Dr. Bell, you know, you know, we, just two of us, we could have just been satisfied with a little apartment. Mm -hmm. But God put a desire in our heart to have our, our own home. Amen. Are you following? You know, in those areas, you know, where we have our own home, where I can play my music a lot as I want it. Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. In your own room. In my own room. <laughs> Are you following? So he put that desire in our heart, and guess yes. what? This year, God manifested it. Amen. Are you following? Mm -hmm. You know, so, so what I'm saying is God will put desires in your heart. Yeah. But then, but then you got to use your faith to get it manifested. That's good. So we had to fight a good fight of faith on it. Then we got to bail. So, did. so it wasn't like boom out of you know mm -hmm. it just happened. No. Once we knew that God put the desire in our heart, we fought a good fight of faith. Yes, did. Even though things look negative sometimes, oh, yeah. it looked going down, but we kept on fighting Amen. the fight of faith, keeping our confession in line, uh, you find, and, and making our faith That's good. produce the manifestation. Because a few times, the devil tried to get in that thing, oh. <laughs> but we had to keep on making our That's faith. Right. Like the woman of Israel blood said, when I touched him in the garden, I shall be made whole. Yes. We, no, no, no. I remember on the, on the day before, uh, the, I mean, the couple, few days before mm -hmm. the house was getting ready to be oh. uh, closed, all of a sudden, my, my credit score was still, you know, about five points under what it's supposed to have been. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, this is not going to happen. We didn't spend all, almost a year and a half believing God. Yes. And I just declared over that credit score, you're going to go up in Jesus, and we're not going to receive that. Right. And you know what? Overnight, overnight, the credit score went up over 35 points. Okay. Overnight. I mean, I, 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 I took this to the finance company. They said, you know what, Dr. Craig? Your credit score is not this. Your credit score is not I said, what? <laughs> it, it shocked me. But you know what? God did it. Because I made my faith produce the manifestation. Amen. The desires of your heart. The desires manifested. of my heart was manifested <laughs> because I made my faith do it. You so go. your faith is not putting God on the line. Mm -hmm. Your faith is not making God do something. That's good. Jesus told me, your faith make your you faith. whole. That's no, good. I've given you something mm -hmm. that makes you a creator. Mm -hmm. I've given you something that makes that gives you dominion over the thing. That's good. That whatever you say yes. will happen. You follow me? So it's not like you're trying to be arrogant or not like you with God. No, he, God said, I've given you something called faith, and your faith can make you whole. Yes. Your faith can, uh, 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 the moment you touch Jesus' garment, can make you whole. Mm -hmm. So he said, I've given you something that you can make Beautiful. things happen in your life. Beautiful. You can and you can write your own ticket. Uh -huh. And, and, and that's what God has said today, and I pray we get a hold to this. Yeah. So you got to begin to start seeing that, that, yeah. that when God put desires in your heart, those are the desires of the Father. That's right. That's what he wants you to have. That's the level he wants you to have it. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is make your faith produce the manifestation in Jesus' make name. It. Praise God. Point number seven, Dr. Bell. Say, I am abundant. Mm -hmm. I am abundant. I am abundant. See, say that over and over again. We have to. Because you're, you, you, you're connected to a God of abundance. Yes. And the God of abundance lives inside of you. Yes. So you got to begin to start saying, you know what? Because God is in me, mm -hmm. and, 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 and he's in me, he's walking in me, mm -hmm. I'm in his temple, and he's a God of abundance, therefore I can declare by faith I am abundance. Because mm -hmm. my faith 
My faith mm -hmm. produces everything God is. Yeah, that's good. My faith, because he's in me, mm -hmm. and my faith produces everything he is, it releases in my life yes. everything he is and wants to do in my life. Mm -hmm. My faith pulls that thing yes. out of the spiritual realm, which exists in God, yes. into the physical realm. Yes. My faith makes it happen. Yes. Your faith makes it happen mm -hmm. because God is already in you. He's not coming. He's there. <laughs> so everything you believe in God for is on the way Amen. in Jesus' name. All right, now point number eight, Dr. Bell. You must see abundance. You must smell abundance. Mm. You must speak abundance in your being as part of your inheritance where you will not accept anything else. Don't accept anything else. Amen. They're going to say, whatever you're willing to accept mm. is a sign that you, that you believe is all you deserve. My God. So, so, so you got to begin to start seeing yourself walking in yes. abundance. That's right. Smelling abundance. Glory to God. Speaking <laughs> abundance. Uh, that this is a part of my inheritance. Mm -hmm. I'm only sin because it's a part of my inheritance, and therefore I'm not willing to accept anything less than my inheritance yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you see that today? Yes. You know, uh, you know, uh, uh, my my uh, daughter Sharice. Mm -hmm. You know, she came up with her dad and mom walking in the level of prosperity. Like other older kids say all the time, they say they <laughs> said they got a chance to see some things about prosperity that they, that, 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 that the older kids didn't get because the older kids got a hold of the, the the broke side and we were struggling. <laughs> but my Sharice and Shakur got a chance to see and experience the other side. Yeah. So with Sharice, you know, I turned 16, 17 years old. She was on the vehicle, and and so. You know, I, I, I'm thinking you know, she, you know, looked like an old Toyota or something, you know, something that, you know, like, you know, she could have said, no, I, I want a Land Rover. Land Rover. I said, Land Rover? <laughs> you know, and they said, I want a BMW. Oh, BMW. Right. And I'm trying to say, well, where are you getting all this from? But I thought about that she, she believed that that's what she deserved. That's right. Because that's all she had been exposed to. Yeah. My other kids been exposed to, the older kids, they had been exposed to living in the bottom of the church. They had been exposed to, you know, getting car repossessed. Mm -hmm. She never knew until about that. So it was that, that language was totally foreign to her. Right. Are you following me? And so she, be, so she was believing for what she was used to. Yes. And she was expecting at that level. Are you following me? Those areas. And, and so, that, so God put that in my heart. He said, that's what can happen. A lot of people, because they, they've been so broke all the time, it's hard for them to understand my that God. this really belongs to them because yes. they've not been experienced to that. Yes. And exposure breeds expansion. Yes. So you got you, so that's why right now in, in the body of Christ we got to expose ourselves mm -hmm. to to all of God. Amen. All of God, not some church on the corner somewhere selling chicken, having baked selling car washes mm -hmm. to be supported, but all of God, who is a, who's in a God of yes. abundance in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And we got to see ourselves in abundance. We got to walk in abundance. We got to live in abundance. And we got to expose ourselves to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Oh, the God. Amen. Amen. That's right. And your God. Right. And forget about what people are telling you what you cannot do. Yeah. Or, or what you cannot wear. You know, you come to church and you know you're looking good, but somebody said, well, why you got to do all that? Yeah. Get out of that, amen, and just start walking in your prosperity the way God designed you and made you to be because it all belongs to God anyway. So if it belongs to God, guess what? It belongs to us because we're here on this earth. That's, that's right. That's right. And we're, But he said, you got to make it happen. You got to do it. He, 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 I'm giving you a sudden call of faith. That's good. And, and, and the same way to work this your blood, use her faith, that substance, yes. to make her whole. The same way the blind Bartimaeus used his faith, something to make his soul. Right. The same way David used his faith to conquer Goliath. That's you can make, you can use your faith today to make things manifest That's in your right. life in your own time. Yes. In on. your own time when you get into the timing of God. That's good. Because <laughs> faith is a present tense, continuous yes. ad infinitum right. realm in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. What does Ephesians 3.20 say, Dr. Bell? Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. That's who you are. Yes. He is able. <laughs> How much exceeding, exceeding, abundant above all you can ask or think. You begin to meditate on that. Yes. That's who's inside of you. Yes. He's not limited to your thoughts. Mm -hmm. He's not limited to your ability mm -hmm. because he is our ability. Mm -hmm. And let him think his thoughts through us yes. and he'll take you to a whole other realm. Yes, Glory to God. Yes, he will. Because, you know, you know, so sometimes we, we live in Las Vegas. Sometimes I like going down the Interstate 15 when we go downtown where we begin to see all those billion dollar hotels. Yes. God said, that's one of my thoughts. Amen. 
That's one of my thoughts right there. You know, people, churches trying to you know raise a thousand dollars to a church payment, but over there they got billion dollar hotels. God said those kind of thoughts I have. Mm -hmm. I got billion dollar thoughts. I'm in you. Mm -hmm. I'm in you. And if you let me begin to think my thought, thought through you, mm -hmm. a, a billion dollar church is not going to be tough for you because I can. Because God said that what you believe in God for, He says just one of my thoughts away. Wow. But your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my ways. They're higher than your thoughts. Because I'm in you, yeah. let me think my thoughts through you. And, let, and, and expand yourself to God's Beautiful. thinking. And watch and see yeah. how God takes you to heights that you never dreamed of. Hey. But he's going to take you there. Because he's giving you the substance called faith to make it happen. Yes. Now, come, uh, up to his level. come up to his level in come Jesus' on. name. <laughs> All right, final scripture, Dr. Bell. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And this is in the Amplified Bible. Yes. And God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing, come to you in abundance, mm -hmm. so that you may always, under all circumstances, and whatever the need be, self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. That's the will of God That's for your the life. Will of God. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yes. That's the Amplified Bible. He's able, He's able to make all grace, mm. every favor, and earthly blessing come to you in abundance. Amen. That's who's in you. But now, because he's, but he, he's able to do it, but he needs your faith and my faith mm -hmm. to make it happen. Yes. Get that? He's able to do it, but he needs your faith and my faith mm -hmm. to make it happen. And that's why your faith can make you whole. Yes. Amen. Your faith can cause the blinders to come off your life today in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I'm teaching this lesson about making your faith produce manifestations in your life. Mm -hmm. As of today, listen to this word over and over again. Mm -hmm. Study these scriptures I've given you today because God's taking you to a whole other level this year mm -hmm. where this is going to be your year of the great comeback. This is going to be the year where you're going to expand your expectations and, and to what God is able to do mm -hmm. and what God is willing to do as you make your faith manifest it in your life. That's so true. praise God. Dr. Bell, put the final words on that. Amen. Yeah, this is what we must do. We must make our faith, amen, create the outward manifestations that we, we want in life. That's just like any good parent. They they see the potential that, that, that their children have. You know, mm -hmm. we take them to ball games. We take them to, uh, e you know, city events. And, you know, we, 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 we surround them with the best. And guess what? When you do that for your children, guess what? Those those children will come up <coughs> to that level. Yes. So what about us as being heirs and joint heirs with Christ? Christ, he, he put all these things mm -hmm. here for us. But he know that we're going to have to learn how to make those things come to pass in our lives by using our faith. That's right, praise God, and it's done. And I'm declaring as of today, yes. today begins yes. your adventure, <laughs> over to God, of making your yes. faith make manifestations in your life. That's right. Every dream, every desire yes. that you've ever prayed for and believed for, we declare, we declare is yes. on the way as of today, Amen. in Jesus' name. Dr. Bell, we believe that same thing for our lives. Yes, we do. That is done. Yes, in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. So I'm going to pray for you right now. Believe in God with you. And we're going to trust God with you that all is well in Jesus' mighty name. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for every person that is with us right now, God, in this service. And, God, we've spoken some things today according to your word that for many people in churches have right. not heard it on this wise. You, but God, is something that you said. Jesus, you the one that said, if you got faith, all things are possible to yes, never leave. And so, Lord, we're just bringing it into the realm of what you've already made us to make for heaven. So, God, continue to unveil this to us, yes. that our things our eyes have not seen, things our ears have not heard, yes. what you've got prepared for us to love us, God. So, God, open the eyes of your people, yes. God, that we can walk in this revelation and this manifestation of faith that we make things happen with the gift that you've given us called yes. faith to cause manifestations to happen in our life as of today. And I decree that everything you promised everything. your people, everything that they pray for, everything they believe for, everything they sow for, as of today yes. is on the way in manifestation in Jesus' name. I give you thanks for it, Father, in Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. Praise God. Well, it's been a great time being with you. Before we dismiss, as always, you know, uh, again, we, we're going to receive our tithes and our offerings. Amen. amen. In Jesus' name. And, you know, and tithing offering is not just so that we can pay our rent, pay up, so we can pay tithes. It's not, it's not about duty. It's about faith. Amen. It's about obedience to God. God said in Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, he says, bring all the tithes to the storehouse. Mm -hmm. That there may be meat in my house. Mm -hmm. he, so first of all, we just obey what God said. Amen. So it's not, it's not about paying your tithe. It's not about it. It's about obeying God. That's, right. That's the first thing. God said that tithing is a low level of, 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 of faith because it teaches you obedience. God mm -hmm. wants you to obey. God wants you to trust him mm -hmm. with your money. So bring that tithe, that first 10% to mm -hmm. the Lord. Then he said from that point on, the rest of has to do with him want to bless your life. Yeah. He said, I will open the windows of heaven. Mm -hmm. I will pour you out a blessing. You do not have room enough to receive it all. He said, I will rebuke you to bow for your sake. So all these things happen when you become obedient to God. Right. Then in verse 11, he said, I'll rebuke you to bow for your sake. Right. I'll do these things if you just walk in obedience to me. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 119 said, if they be obedient to me, mm -hmm. they'll eat the good of the land. And God wants us to walk in that 11. So, so, so that tithe is so important. Number two is offering. Offering is something that God puts on your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, God stirs your heart up to give in the area of offering because it's something he wants, it's the harvest he wants to release in your life, but he can't do it without a seed. So God puts a, a mount in your heart concerning offering. He says, I want you to put this seed out there because there's a harvest I want to bring in your life. Now, and sometimes God don't tell what the harvest is going to be, but he understands the harvest he has for us is exceeding and abundant and above what we can ask or think, but I need a seed. So listen to the Spirit of God concerning offering, and then obey God. Whatever he tells you to do, however much it is, don't try to figure it out. Just obey him in that area and watch and see the harvest come forth. And then number three is called seed faith. It's when you got a specific thing that you believe in God for in your own life. And you say, God, I want to put a seed because of some things I personally desire, but I want to release this seed now. I want to sow this seed into the ministry, specifically because this is what I believe in God for. I need a house, a car, whatever it is you believe in God for. You put that seed in the ground. If you put apples, you get apples, orange, you get oranges. But I'm putting a seed in the ground, but I'm believing you, God, for a 30, 60, 100 fold return on my seed today. Amen. And my seven out the bed, we're sending our seven to give me with yeah. you in the name of Jesus Christ. That, that, that whatever you sow, we believe in God, Thank you're going to reap a hundredfold Amen. now, as the Bible said, in this time, mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. So I'm going to pray. Now, let me say before I, before I pray for you in that area, mm -hmm. uh, you know, right now, for some reason, Facebook is not allowing me to really uh, uh, to paste things on, in real time. So I, I got three ways that I put on there for our cash app there. It's on there. Dollar sign Apostle I am or, or uh, uh, Zell I am ministries there mm -hmm. in those areas. But then when I get offline here in a few minutes, I'll be able to go in there and, and actually put in the, even the link and then you just click that link and take it right there. So give me five minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll have that to you also. But, but you want to do it now. You know, obey God in your tithe. Obey God in your offering. Obey God in that seed because when you, because that is your faith being released. That's making things manifest. Right. Your seed is substance. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Your tithe is substance. Anytime you obey God, you're operating in the substance that it takes to cause physical manifestation to happen in your life. So don't sit back hoping that God changed things. Put the seed in the ground the where God said your seed is a manifestation of your faith yeah. that will turn things around in your life. Yes, it will. You know, uh, Isaac sowed a seed in that same year he got a hundredfold so, but if he would have kept the seed in his hand he never got the hundredfold <laughs> so it only works when you take it out of your hand and put it in God's hands Amen. and expect the results so we're going to pray for you now Thank we're going to receive your tithe and your offering at this time Amen. Father in the name of Jesus Christ as an apostle of God I receive the tithe the offerings and the seed of your people, God. Yes, and my seven of the bed, we set ourselves in agreement with them, God, for the hundredfold return that the windows of heaven, yes. fresh new opportunities are coming to them yes. now in abundance in yes. Jesus' name. Yes, and we declare that the virus rebuked. We declare the harvest that they sow that, that, that seed that you put in their heart. That harvest is not released and on the way in yes. Jesus' name. And we set ourselves in agreement with them for the seed that they're sowing, that they're naming their seed, that whatever they believe in God for God, we set ourselves in agreement with them that it's done in the name of thank Jesus you, Christ of Nazareth, we pray. And God, we thank you for it and we thank agree you. with it with them now yes. in Jesus' name. Jesus. It is done. Amen. So Amen. thank God for all of you that are, yes. that are faithful to God. Now, again, we're doing something different. Because with daylight saving time, it pushes us so far out past a lot of people's time. 
So I told her that we got to start coming a little bit early so we can get we can stay in time with people, you know, especially before they go to work and before they do certain things. So we're going to be starting to come on uh, 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 Arizona time, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Tuesday through Friday. This, you know, and that way we can get everybody before it's not so late, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be coming on 8 a.m. Tuesday through Friday and also Sunday, Tuesday Friday, Arizona time, 8 a.m. Now, if you're in Pacific Standard Time, like we are here in Las Vegas or California, a place like Pacific Standard Time, it's 7 a.m. Like right now, we came on at 7 a.m. Dr. Bell woke up with me at 7 o'clock this morning, y'all, to be a part of this service. And thank God for Dr. Bell. Amen. God's time. Amen. God, in God's time. Amen. It's a great blessing. So remember that, that, we're, that we'll be coming on uh, uh, Arizona Time, 8 a.m. Are you following? And uh, um, so that way we, you, you can get a hold to us before you go to work or while you're getting dressed, whatever there. And uh, all around, you know, on, your way, on your way to work, praise God. But we want to be able to be a blessing to your life. So, uh, again, if, you do, if, if you're with us right now and you said, Dr. Craig, I would like to get your notes. We send out notes to, to our, our partners. Mm -hmm. So you have to get the notes to these lessons. You can go over the notes with us. All you got to do is uh, message me. And send me your email address through Messenger, okay, through Messenger there, and I will send you our notes. That way, every morning you can follow us, you know, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, every morning. Now, we're going to be in Phoenix, Arizona, praise God, this coming Saturday mm -hmm. uh, with a seminar. Uh, this coming Saturday at our church there in, 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 in uh, Arizona, uh, and, and the seminar is going to be uh, on, uh, 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 this is your year of, what is it? Um, uh, man, well, expand your expectations yes. for a what is my seminar? My, my, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this other thing that praise God. But anyway, <laughs> look on Facebook. Praise God. It's there. God, God, it God, amen. Oh, that's right. You know, God gave me that word there, but my mind is on this lesson right here, right now. So I'm kind of like in, in a tunnel vision right now. But you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. This is your year of breakthrough. This is your year of. This, yeah, that's right. That's right. Thank you, Dr. Bell. This is your year of the great comeback. Yes, the great God put that in my heart yes. that this is your great comeback. And you know, Muhammad Ali, you know, the, he, he was a champion, and then he went through a trial, you know, yes. with, 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 the, with the army, something like that. But he came back and he still won the championship. Yes, this is your year of the great comeback. Amen. This is your year for expanding your expectations. Yes. Are you following in those areas? Get ready for what God's got for your life. I'm going to be there. We're gonna, my son and I are going to be there this coming Saturday at our church there. It's, it will happen on, on Facebook there. Mm -hmm. You want you want to be there and be a part of that mm -hmm. seminar. Amen. 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock, four solid lessons. I'll be here on that morning. Then on that Sunday morning, we're going to be at our church there with Pastor Alan Noel there mm -hmm. in Phoenix also. So you want to be a part of that. And then on, uh, uh, and that's at 9 a.m. Praise Amen. God. So you want to be a part of what God is doing. And, uh, you know, don't don't miss what God's got for our lives this coming weekend. So looking forward to that. So, but until then, praise God, this has been Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Ben Fain. May God's riches and, and his very best be yours. God bless God you. Bless.